target direct. A target direct is used to create direct lights. A direct light is when the lights are going parallel, when the beams of each light are going parallel to each other. This is essentially a sunlight. If you think about it, the sun is so far away, the lights when it reaches Earth seem to be parallel to each other because it's so far away. So we're going to recreate that by going up into our uh, command panel, going to our Create tab. We're going to go to our Lights button. We're going to hit the down arrow and pick Standard. Then we're going to come up here and pick Target Direct. Now, we're going to come up here and we're going to choose... Uh, where the light is and we're going to hold our left mouse button down we're going to drag it down and we're going to pick on the target now we're not probably getting what we like because we're in a perspective view I'll right click and finish and you can kind of see that hmm maybe it's what we thought but if I go and toggle my viewport you'll see that in my other viewports I'm shining it from the side. I thought it was coming in from above. One of the little problems we have with this. So all we need to do is actually come over here and adjust this. Okay. So I'm going to come along in here and use my move and select. And I'm going to select and rotate. And I'm going to pick on the center of the light beam. Okay. I'm going to turn it and rotate it. All right, and then I'm going to, at that point, come over here with the move. I'm going to move it upwards and move it over the light. And you can still see I'm shining it on a little bit of an angle, but I'm a lot closer than I was before, right? So now it's simulating the sunlight. Um, so I'm going to switch back into my perspective view, and you can see that my light is up here shining down on the object okay I can pick on this thing and uh, move it around you can see my hotspot the lighting changing here a little bit but I'll get it where I want it to go now if I go to the modify tab I pick on my light and I go to the modify tab I'll come down into my directional parameters in here I can show that cone or not and I can build how big of a hot spot it is or how big my fall off is. And I'll increase my fall off a little bit. And you can see it got bigger there. Now remember, I get a better representation when I do render it. So at this point, I got a little bitty light here, right? So I might want to come down and say, let's come down a little bit. Let's move it over a little bit. And there we go. Now let's try it again. Now let's come over to the render. And you can see my little bit of light here. All right. So I might want to come in here and change my intensity. It's not very bright, so I'll kick it up. And now let's run a render. So I got a little bit more light this time. All right. Now, another thing we can do, we'll zoom right in on it here. And now we'll run a render on it. You can see the light is just shining on that top part over there, top left part. I don't have any other lights on the other side, so this front right side is a little dark. So that just tells me I need to put more lighting in. Um, but I could get it a little bit more above the light, uh, above the teapot, I, I could say. I could kick up my multiplier a little bit and have more intensity, um, but you can kind of see that I need more lighting in this case, right? So I could kick up my multiplier by a lot, right? And, and that's kind of a cheating way to do it, but you can see it isn't helping. I need more lights. So the distant light really represents a very distant light and all the beams are coming down in this funnel towards the object in parallel lines so it's uh, 
It's a good light that casts an overall light onto an object, such as I want to use it represented as sunlight. I can cast it onto my house or building, and I can shine a direct sunlight on it, but I still might want to add some other particular lightings in some areas um, to get things to work a little better. Um, and uh, I didn't even set the decay and all that, but we could. But I just wanted you to see that the direct light is all in a tube and it does have a hot spot in the fall off just like we did with uh, with our spotlights.